fun note skeletons that hold explosive barrels shoot at their legs and they'll drop the barrels well the it'll destroy the skeleton without exploding the barrel these barrels you can also sell to the merchant alliance welcome back everybody this is part two of our sea of thieves tutorial series so You've loaded in, you've purchased new appearances from our awesome vendors here. You look like a baller. You're ready to go and get some more gold. What do you do next? Likely, you're going to be interested in doing some quests for some of the three main factions that we have here. Obviously, we have the Gold Hoarders, this gentleman here. We've got the Order of Souls and this Tent with the Eye right here. And then you've got the Merchant Alliance right over here on the docks. We're going to start with Gold Hoarders. They're the simplest quests. People seem to do them more frequently. So we're going to go ahead and start with them. So we're going to talk to this gentleman here. So you see down here, he offers quests for you. Up here, there are also some skins that he offers for you. And these are not sold by the main vendors on the island. And these are obviously locked to ranks in the Gold Hoarder specifically. Now, there's the level of influence you have, and then there's the ranks. So the influence you will just gain as you turn in stuff to this vendor and the ranks you will purchase from this vendor. So you see here, I have yet to purchase gold magnate. It requires a level 35 reputation. I only have 32 reputation. You can't see that I'm in the way. All right, so let's go ahead and purchase one of the quests from this guy here. So, or excuse me, purchase a voyage. So we're going to go ahead and purchase this voyage from him. See, I've got these two locked off. That means I already have two voyages in my inventory. You can only have a maximum of three voyages. Now, what's the difference between voyages and quests? Quests are on this radial dial here. You'll see this one here I picked up in a barrel. I'll show that clip now. And right here, you see this tattered parchment. This guy right here, that is a quest as well. So as soon as we activate this guy right here, you'll notice that it says quest received right there. And then we open up the quest wheel. And then you see I have this uh, Captain kill him something la terrible last sighted at flames end uh and we'll go over that type later but you can grab random quests from barrels like you saw in that clip they're just that little piece of parchment voyages however will also grant you quests now that we have some voyages we only have this one quest wait how do we how do we we only have this one quest this isn't part of the thing how do we do that so you go over to your table here this voyage table you propose a voyage select one of the ones that you have purchased Go ahead and do this one. And then you look at that, you see it's rolled up and then now you have to vote for it. If it's you by yourself, you're gonna vote it and immediately start it. If you're with a crew, then each person has to vote on the ones available. Now, I've started a prize hoarder by the famed Tha Vile Vincent. You're gonna see in my quest radial, I have an extra quest. Now this one, this voyage, after I complete this quest is probably going to pop more quests in my inventory. Some voyages will give you all the quests at once. Some you'll do one and then it's like you receive two more quests. So a voyage is only complete after you've finished all the quests in it. Now, this is a riddle quest, the type that I actually like, and the one that most people seem to have trouble with. So I'm glad that I started with this one. So you can see here it says glinting, gleaming, shining, twinkling on Crescent Isle. I have an inkling. So that means this treasure is on Crescent Isle. So Crescent Isle right over here next to Golden Sands Outpost. We're going to go over sailing and random encounters in the next video. So onto the quest. You see my little riddle here? It just says one thing on it. Like, how am I supposed to know? You're going to notice something cool when you actually step onto the island. So once I get out of the water and step on the island, you're going to hear a little music. That music right there. And then we're going to pull out the quest. And the next clue is uh, is being shown. Now, this is a very short quest. Sometimes they're much longer with three or four steps, but it all works the same way. The chest is close at three skull totem near the tunnel entrance, but you're not done. Dig seven paces east by north east. Grab it and run. All right. Could be on the other side of the tunnel. Could be over here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. OK, I was just on the opposite side of the tunnel. So tunnel entrance. This is a three skull totem. So if you look at my little clue here, it says dig seven paces east by northeast. So how am I going to know paces? Is it, you know, that, that? But there's actually a really cool thing that a lot of people don't know about. And I didn't know about it at first either. I'm like, how the f am I supposed to figure this out? I hate this. All right. So let's get it back. Let's see here. Seven paces east by northeast. So based east by northeast. So in between the two, hold down your action button as PC. It's going to be left click and then one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Each nod is a pace. And there we go. Ah, and skeletons. Sometimes when you dig up treasure, skeletons will spawn. All right, well, let's see what we get. Treasure chest, open it up. There's gonna be some gold inside and something to sell. But not a lot of gold. There's never a lot of gold inside the treasure chest. The main thing that you're getting is the thing inside to sell it. Also, really cool thing about treasure chests, you can store small items inside them like uh, bounty skulls, the thing that's inside it right now, the little chalice or whatever. So yeah, just small items. You can store three of them in a treasure chest. It's kind of cool. So now let's see if that added another quest. Oh, so that was the whole voyage right there. Just the one riddle quest. So you'll notice the voyage is now gone because I completed it. I was assuming that one was going to be a multi-step one, but I guess not now. Because I'm trying to find an X marks the spot one as well for you. I'd like to show you how to do both ones. Let's go ahead and start another voyage. One of the reasons I grabbed multiples of them. <laughs> Here we go, just one, it's an X marks the spot. Now this one doesn't give me the name of the island, but it gives me the shape of it. So I need to find where this island is. I think I know which one it is. Unmark that one. And I believe it is. Yep, Mermaid's Hideaway. Oh, I think I see something. Yep, it looks like, yeah, there's a named skeleton there. So that guy, when I kill him, he's gonna drop a little quest and a little skull that I can turn in for some gold. All right, so where is that little, see, there he is. See, Captain No Deal Atkinson. So this means he's got a quest because he's got that name like that. And named skeleton, all skeletons though, you'll notice they eat, they'll eat a banana when they start getting damaged. All right, so you see there, there's this little envelope there, pick up skeleton orders, and then you'll see I have a new quest right there. And then the quest will always be at the island that you're at. Makes that nice little creepy noise there, like he's talking to you. Now, that treasure chest we got earlier, there's a really cool thing about it. So if you notice, this guy's making a whole bunch of noise. Set it down there, he's making noise. But if I put him in the treasure chest, he'll stop making noise. We've got this quest here, which has X marks the spot things on it. And then we also have this quest here for Mermaid's Hideaway from the captain that just dropped it. So this is good because now we have a longer riddle quest so you can see the in-between riddles to kind of see how they go. Got two of them in here. So first, let's go ahead and start with our X marks the spot. So my ship is over here, so I'm going to go ahead and head this way. On this map, this is this little uh, pool there, so it looks like I need to go over to this side. Uh, that guy right over there is just a random NPC. You'll find some random NPCs on islands. Those are for um, delivery quests. And we'll go over delivery quests when we go for the Merchant Alliance. About here, I believe. This is one of the reasons I'm not super fond of the X marks the spot one. Hey, there we go. But yeah, the X marks the spot ones, I, like a lot of people prefer them. I, I like the riddle ones because... When you find the clues, you know exactly where the chest is. There's no guesswork. Now, this island isn't very difficult to determine where the qu the chests are, just because it's not a very large island. But on the pretty, the decently large ones, back to the map. So the other two looks like they're right next to each other. Right over there. Okay. Try and get a point of reference. All right, this looks like it's the first point of the beach there. So one should be about here, I believe. So now the last one is going to be, I believe, right about here. Yay, so that is all the X marks the spots. Now, I finished this voyage. So it's going to say a voyage complete right there. And I could tell that because it didn't add any extra quests to my radial dial. Now that we've finished our X marks the spot quest, we have this riddle quest here. So to the abandoned homesteads to the south. A secret does belong, release the knowledge with a song. So that means I need to find these abandoned homesteads and then play a song next to them. This is the abandoned homesteads, I believe. Now the quest said to play a song. I'll be doing that in just a second after I deal with this skeleton. Now, as it says, abandoned homesteads in the south, a secret does belong, release the knowledge with a song. So that means when I play a song, the next clue will be revealed. So I'm here at the abandoned homesteads. Hold down Q, my item menu, click more, which is F, 
and then just pull out any instrument. Let's go ahead and do this little thing. There they go. And then I'll pull that out and you'll see the next clue is being revealed. Okay, so reading this map, a clue you'll see if at the camp near Mermaid's Lagoon is standing B. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the lagoon, which is right here. So camp right here, lagoon, merit. So uh, the way it's worded means I need to read the thing here. So I read it here, lights up, and the very last clue is being revealed to me. So find the thrice gold totem to the northeast. I wonder what this journey will yield. Stride six paces north than ye shovel wield. All right, right here. Yep. Six paces north. So just like the other one, we'll go facing north. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and talk to the Order of Souls representative here. And then you'll see here, kind of the same thing. They have two appearance items as well. So they've got the lantern and the tankard. Now, this is actually good. I, I didn't know I'm at a point where I can buy another promotion in their organization. So Mystic Mercenary is the next that I'm at right now. And you can notice right here, each of these voyages costs 80 gold. But once I upgrade to Mystic Mercenary, they all now cost 100 gold. The Order of Souls missions are all the same. They're all really the same. The you go to the island it tells you to, and then you kill the skeletons there. Now, when you're on one of their missions, there's going to be waves of skeletons get to, to get to the boss. The boss, the boss or boss is. All right, so propose a voyage. We're going to go ahead and the duel with the renowned crew of the last Marauder. We're going to go ahead and select it. Vote for the voyage. And then now we're going to go ahead and get some missions. These are the two that I got the quest for for that. So I need to finish these. Let's go ahead and select this one. So... These three are the named ones I'm gonna kill. So last sighted on Wanderer's Refuge, and then we have one that is last sighted on Cannon Cove. So let's hit up Cannon Cove first, it's just right over there. There are some skeletons there, and these guys are part of this quest. So I just need to kill all these skeletons in the next. Now these skeletons are special ones. I'm sure you noticed they look different from the ones I fought before. These are what I call Dusk Skeletons. I'm sure they have a, an actual name. Maybe I'll put it on the screen, maybe not. Now these ones, I'm very lucky it's daytime because at nighttime, they won't take any damage unless you shine your lantern on them. So at nighttime, if I was fighting these, I'd have to have like this and I'd have to like right click to raise my lantern and illuminate them. These guys with the blue are a little bit tougher than normal skeletons. Let's see what type we got. More dusk skeletons. Okay, so next we're at blue skeletons again. And you can attack skeletons as they get out of the ground. So there's the boss that we need to fight. I was very lucky that they spawned right next to one of them. All right. So, there's our bounty skull from the boss. There you go. It's just that easy. You find the skeletons, you kill them. Wait till the boss spawns. Then you kill the boss. And that's how you do the Order of Souls quests. So, next, on to the Merchant Alliance. So, this here, this message in a bottle here this is another way you can randomly get quests it'll shine on the island just like when you see treasure so when you hold it down you know quest received and you can go see here i received another quest now this is a merchant alliance quest so uh, let's see here uh, posed by one crate of fruit all right so now we are here with the merchant alliance i can collect the fruit crate and this one that I have came on the 22nd, so it is the 20th, so I've got a couple days to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and collect the fruit crate. So the fruit crate is one of the things that you can deliver, obviously. And then there's a time. The most important thing about the uh, Merchant Alliances is a time limit on all of them. They're very timely people. So let's go ahead and talk to this person. Browse the alliance offers. Uh, once again, I can upgrade my alliance level, so I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and grab... This one, yes. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and complete this delivery first that I have, because they're timed. This one's 8 p.m. by the 22nd. I need to go to, I believe, Sanctuary Outpost. So, 
I need to go right there. All right. So basically just straight the way I'm headed. So all the Merchant Alliance quests are take this thing from this person or this place and deliver them to this place. That's it. Your 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 pizza delivery boat, basically. <laughs> 21st. All right. I got plenty of time now. So let's go ahead and fill the rest of this bad boy up with fruits. Oh, that hurts putting a pineapple in there. And there we go. All right. Full crate of fruit. There we go. Deliver fruit crate. So now let's go ahead and propose a voyage. Cargo run. Here I request to collect four crates in the name of Wanda from Golden Sands Outpost. So uh, one thing, the NPC's names are letter coded. Air quotes. So Wanda should be the weapons merchant. How many crates is it? Four crates. The Wanda. Collect cargo. Collect cargo. Collect cargo. And collect cargo. Okay, so these are all cloth. So these cloth we do not want to get wet. So don't put, don't jump in the water with them or anything like that. There's different types. Plants you need to keep wet so they stay healthy. Um, and then obviously they'll still die over time. There's the bottles of rum, which you can't jump around with or fall off with or drop like hard. Obviously you can you know set them down. But like if you drop them off a ledge or something like that, it'll break the bottles. And if they're like, if the cloth is wet or if the bottles are damaged, you know, so on and so forth, that obviously um, decreases the amount of gold that you get for them. Delivery note. Five paces Frank at Mermaid's Hideaway by the 27th. <clears throat> so the NPC at Mermaid's Hideaway I need to deliver these to him. So generally you guys don't want these below decks because just in case you take damage and you take water, it'll damage the cloth. It'll make them a little bit lower, uh, the lower price that you're gonna get for them. So I'll keep mine up here. Now, if you don't do it by the time that it says, if you're not able to deliver these by the time it says on your contract, it will expire and you won't be able to turn it in. So as you can see, they're pr pretty good money doing these. I just don't, I don't enjoy it as much. You know, I feel like I, I, I wouldn't be a pirate. Like digging up treasure totally makes sense. You know, going and fighting, you know, cursed skeletons and stuff. That totally makes sense. Delivering goods, like, I, I, it's just not my jam. You know what I mean? I just, I don't know. I don't feel as much. There we go. All right, guys, that was our rundown of the three starting main factions and the quest that you'll be doing for them. We'll see you next time with the next tutorial video, which will be about sailing and random encounters at sea. Have a good one.